Are you even seeing green spots in your eyes? Yeah. Why? Everyone's been infected with them but me for some reason. Oh, dear. The doctor lady said it was allergies. It's much worse. Maybe a day before everyone goes blind. Are you fucking serious? Oh, God. A lot more of us aren't gonna make it now. I'm working on a treatment. Hopefully that doesn't happen. But if people start panicking, none of us are gonna make it out of here alive. Oh, my God. I need your help. Make sure everyone stays calm. I can't do this without you. Yeah, I'll do what I can. Oh, God, I would be shitting myself. I am sorry. I was overstressed and met myself this morning. I was wondering who that woman on our sofa was. The woman who didn't even want this job in the first place? You're right. When errors happened, everything was about to end, and there was nothing I could do about it. That's how I'm feeling right now. Because you're scared for the planet? Or because you're not in control of the outcome? Both of those things. I've never questioned the things you've done before, because I knew you were doing them for the right reasons. But it feels like this election isn't about you being right anymore. It's just about you needing to win. I can't be right if I don't. How far are you willing to go to find out? As far as I have to. Pause. That worries me. What is she gonna do? What is she gonna do? I'm really actually struggling in those scenes because I, I just really don't like the actor playing Arjun. I really don't think he's a very good actor. I'm so sorry. I don't. Tr I try not to go negative on actors, but he's actually bringing me out of the out of the scenes. I'm just having to try and sort of focus on a Vassarala and listen to just to content rather than the way that it's being delivered, but. Yeah, I mean, they, they've got a split because a Vassarali is clearly a thing that can often be the trajectory of charismatic leaders is that they can tend to go this way and it looks like a Vassarali is going that way at the moment. But it's not too late. It's still in a process. So I'm willing to give her the benefit of the doubt and see where it goes. But I do think that I'm being generous with that because I think it could go very, very, very badly on Earth. Um, but... Whatever happens on Earth is probably not going to be as bad as what's happening on Ellis at the moment because everyone's about... At, the people in the artifact are a day away from blindness. So you're going to have a bunch of blind people scavenging about for resources. It's just... How they get out of that, I have no idea. What Jim's role in it is going to be because he'll be the only man who can see. Meanwhile, I'm pretty sure that uh, that thing they're in is going to come to life or something at some point and then it's all going to be academic anyway. Meanwhile, the Bob Pickler could just fall out of the sky. Oh, God. This is a hell of an episode. I'm enjoying this. Play. Yeah, I just wanted to tell you, Naomi and Chelsea, they got an extra three hours of power out of the light shuttle. Yay. They're real pretty, huh? They remind me of Ganymede. The guy who put him in from there. He actually went back there to help. Rebuild. Ganymede was so beautiful. When Felsia was little, she'd make me take her to look at the mirrors above the domes. I thought she liked them because they were big and shiny. Mm. But she wanted to figure out how they worked. It's amazing. It was a different lifetime. I had a family back on Mars. I'm just not part of it anymore. When my son was five, a little guy, he wanted sand for his birthday. Sand? Mm -hmm. Sand. From a real beach from Earth. 
That's adorable. You have any idea how much that cost to get that stuff? I still remember the look on his face when he opened that box. I lost my family because I couldn't be the man that my wife and my little kid needed me to be. You still have a chance to make it right. Make new memories with your kid instead of sitting around like me, hanging on to one moment that I got right. Mm. And they're fixing the enemy and those busted mirrors right now. There's hope for you. The mirrors? That's the answer. I think I know how to save the bar. One time, Felsia and I saw a tug John go out and manually raise a mirror when the thrusters fail. Right, okay, I see what you're getting at. But we could use De Rossi itself, right? We'd be putting both ships at risk. But could it work? <clears throat> In principle, it could work. For this not to be suicide, we gotta have some distance between us. How much distance? A kilometer to be safe. Okay, so... What if we take the nets apart and weave together a single cable that long? Could that work? What the fuck? Your mama's got an idea on how to save the barb. Wait, she does? We want to connect the Rossi to the barb so the Rossi can pull the ship higher up into orbit. We're going to need you to deconstruct the mining nets and weld and weave them together into a single tow cable. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. The cable will need to be at least one kilometer long for safety. We can't have the ships running into each other. And we can't connect it to their nose. Our center of mass has changed because of all the lithium we're carrying. We'll need to build a gantry to provide a height to counterbalance everything. It could work, but do we have enough time to do all this? We're going to find out. Wow. A kilometer look, that is a lot of work. But obviously things have changed. We need to maintain peace with the Belters. So we know Dr. Okoye can treat us, and that means we're gonna need to share our food and water. Uh, That's why you stopped the fight. Strategic. This disaster is the best thing that could have happened to us. It did in one day what was gonna take us years. If we wait out these settlers. This planet's ours. You heard what Holden said. He's going to defend the Belter's claim. We have to silence Holden now. What the fuck? I've been spilling blood my entire career and making others rich of it. You UN sent us to this planet to do research and to coexist with the Belters. But it's in the company's interests if the Belters eventually cede their claim in any stake in the planet. My contract will give me 1% of the claim value. After all, the Belters have gone. Now, that meant millions in lithium money. But if we can control the technology that Holden activated, this planet is worth hundreds of billions more. Sounds like you're finally getting what you're owed. Wow. We're getting what we're owed. There's more than enough for the both of us. Things aren't going to end well on this planet for Holden. And I need to know that you've got my back when I make my move. You've never had to pay for my loyalty. Well, I thought so too. Your off-duty activities have given me reason to question you. Amos is not a problem. Pause. Anyone, anyone who is still saying that Murtry has, like, decent motives in this is just crazy. So, bottom line, this has always all been about taking control of the planet for profit. That's it. That's it. Gah. Play. Liam! Where are you? Liam! Liam? Liam! Liam! Fuck. There's your spark. Oh! Everybody stay the fuck back! Stay the fuck! I bet Mitch will kill him. No! Put your fucking gun down or I'll shoot you myself! Oh shit! Oh no! 
What the fuck? No, don't, don't touch! What the fuck is happening? Those slugs. They killed them. Now we go kill the slugs! Where are they coming from? Oh shit, they're everywhere. No, ma'am. The Pazuz is still on its same course. Both track options are ready. Send in your Marines, General. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> Jesus! Oh my god. Empty ship and it blows up. What's gonna happen? Oh god. I'd like to watch the next episode now, please. No, I'm serious. I really need to watch the next episode. It felt like half an episode. Oh, my God. I think it speaks to the, like, Vassarada's desperation that she went with this mission. Because it's just such an open goal. It's just such an open goal. I thought there were going to be lots of people on it. And they were just going to go for the collateral damage angle. But what it looks like. But then I realised once they were on the ship. Oh my god. They could lure them in. And then like blow up the ship. So it's it's an act of aggression as well as. And then they can blame it all on Earth. Because who's going to believe Earth now? They launched an offensive. I think Ashford and Drummer would be smart enough to know that that's something that Marco and Aros could do. So it's going to, I just, it's, this is going to really kick off is the point. This is going to really kick off between Belter factions and between the, the politics of the Belters and the Inners. Oh yay, Belter loader. Oh yay. Oh my God. Such a good episode. And we've got this bloody... It looks now we've got... Not only are they going to go blind within the next day, but now we've got killer slugs. Jesus. Sorry, by the way, about the background noise. We've got... We have still... The kitchen is still being done. We've got actually a real issue in Wales at the moment with massive flooding, and this has ended up delaying this project, so I thought better to have some noise in the background today. Then they miss another deadline, so I'm gonna go on and do it anyway. But oh my god, just killer conversations. Um, really interesting to finally get Murtry's kind of raison d'etre in this whole thing is is cash. It's that he's been going around 
as this enforcer for a long time, not getting much money for doing really, really awful things. But now he's found out if he does one more really, really awful thing, then he will be compensated adequately for all of those other awful things. And so he's going to do it. That is not a good motive. That does not make someone brave or courageous or no, no, I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not in the military fan club. He's just a jerk. Um, it made me laugh. You know, there was that scene where the Belter kid like tried to take the, s the snacks. Um, and they were like, look, it's okay. There's nothing to go around. Like that kid is that, that's Murtry. Murtry is at that level of emotional maturity as that child. He just can't even co move past that level of adversarial existence um brilliantly brilliantly played though um just fantastic and i actually credited him i thought he would have gone it would have been a very good idea of his actually to have killed that guy on his team because people have seen him intervene to stop this fight so like he was trying to do a good thing and then look, the Belters have responded, but it was even better than that, because it turns out it's killer slugs. As if we did not have enough to deal with right now. We have now got killer slugs and they are all over the place. So God knows what other stuff. This is just a nightmare. It's a nightmare. I shouldn't laugh, but it is it is a lot. I'm really worried about Amos. I'm just really worried about everybody to be honest. I, that the idea of being blind in that situation is bad enough the situation as it is but to lose your sight as well jesus wept we've got some progress with the barbara piccola um lucy's come up with a very good idea hopefully that's going to win her daughter around so that's really cool but i'm really i'm already excited about those scenes because i love it when they do the space scenes where something cool happens so i'm really really excited about that and I am just really wanting to see the aftermath, actually, of the um, of Asarala raid. Because, uh, yeah, I feel like this episode was like the one where we've like been building these tinder boxes so far this season. And it feels like this episode, like the sparks started going out. Um, it didn't begin the configuration, but you can see these now the sparks are being tossed. So it's sort of the tension is really building. I think I, I was like sat like this for about half of the episode. So really, really good episode. There's two of my favourite episodes this season back to back. Um, I really liked um, episode six. I really like this episode. Um, so goodness knows what they're going to do to me in episode eight. Um, episode eight last season was one of my favourite actual episodes in the series. It, was, it reaches out where the, everything goes wrong and the deep fake and all that stuff. So I'm excited to see what they got for me this season. But yeah, this is fantastic. I'm really, really loving this season. Um, great to see that they're able to keep the quality up because I know that people are saying apparently this is people's least favourite book. Um, and there seems a bit of a divide in the fandom about this season from what I'm picking up just from the comments. But um, some of you had said that actually some of the changes that they've made in the show um, have sort of compensated for some of the weaker elements in the book and have actually been more interesting to see. That's quite fascinating. It's really great if a show can bring that to a book. I just can't wait to see how the rest of this plays out. I think it's not going to be very long until I watch episode 8. That's, that's for sure. So until next time, bye-bye. Um, so we needed a plan B. Um, oh no. <laughs>